Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube speed paint. Today I'm painting the Wendigo. This creature resembles the undead uh, with supernatural animalistic abilities of strength, sight, smell, and hearing. It, uh, I made it look very gaunt in order to resemble that undead creature that you see throughout the myths. Um, this creature is the harbinger of hunger as um, and it comes out during winter as uh, this is a time where food for foragers was scarce and it cr created a lot of starvation and hunger. Um, it was said that being possessed led people to cannibalism. Spooky. Uh, anyways, I'm starting out by um, adding some fine lines and refining some of the work. Most of this uh, artwork was uh, line work. I spent a lot of the time going over the lines and making sure they were crisp as I wanted that to be the focal point of this piece. Um, you can see me going in for the fine detail, adjusting the color of the, um, the line work to see what works best, and going in for the bone structure. I didn't really have any idea of what I wanted for a supernatural creature's bones to look like, so I created this almost hovering skeletal piece, and I really like it so far. You can see me going in for detail around the neck, um, and finishing off the bones. As I went around um, fine lining each piece, I made sure to add different line weights and adjust to adjust accordingly to really show depth in this piece. I wanted this piece to also be about depth and show very clear foreground, background, midground. Just going over the basics. I use a, a fine line in order to create a texture in the uh, shadows because I didn't want them to just be uh, stark black and I also, um, as I said, I wanted this to be a piece that mainly revolved around um, line work and not as much on color, although I do add color in the end. Um, even at the line work, I go around in any crossing point where two lines overlap, I try to thicken up the line weight and create this sense of, um, or lack of a merging line. As I get to the end here, I'm just thickening up the outside lines, outer lines to get a good sense of what part of the creature is the creature and what part of the creature is the kid getting ensnared. And as I get to the color, I uh, really, as I said, I want to make a sense of foreground, background, midground, and I get that with the different shades of color that I add. Um, I add a bit of highlights and um, really go for texture in this because I don't want to over embellish on the color. Other than that, um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content. Have a good one.